So what we're doing today, we're going to perform open heart surgery here on my LG Urbane watch, smartwatch. Not sure if it's going to actually do anything at this point because it's been sitting for a while. But this is what it's been doing. Powers on to the LG logo. And that just shuts off. So apparently the fix is possibly placing the battery. So I got a battery and a bunch of tools, which may or may not help. So let's go ahead and dig into it and see what we got. I'm gonna take the band off here because there's a little tab right at the bottom here to pop the back cover off of it. This watch is pretty old, but, and I have a new one, but kind of like this one. So I think it might be kind of fun to see if I could even get it to work again. Let's see if I can pop this off again. There is a <clears throat> it's glued in, basically well, not glued, but if you look, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see any of this or that, but there's a little sticky thing that runs around the edge. Right there, it's sticking up a little bit right here, but it'll go back down. So that holds it back on, keeps it, you know, secure. So you need a little light here. So I can see what I'm doing. So it looks like these are just Phillips screws. Looks like there's one, two, three, four. And then of course there's connectors here. All four of these connectors have to be removed. I don't, this screw may not have to be removed either. But let's get the connectors popped off first. Excuse my fingernail. One, two, three, four. And This board should just come out, which it does. Okay. 
Oh, it's a rumble motor. There's a rumble motor right there. Who knew? Just set this to the side. There's the battery in the bottom. I suspect this is probably going to be glued down somehow. So, let me check on this. <clears throat> but this is glued down somehow. I don't want to break, obviously, I don't want to break the screen or anything. So, let me check this and we'll come back. All right. So, yep, it's just a matter of prying it out a little bit. So, I got it loose. It's just, it is glued in a little bit on the bottom. It's just, it's not that bad. It was pretty easy to take it out. The weird thing is, the new one looks bigger than the old one. So, I think they're pretty close to the same size. But they got the same mount number and everything, so. I don't know. We'll see if we can get this one in here. I know it's going to be a tight fit, but yeah, it'll go. There we are. It's in. Now we need to put the motherboard back in. Screw that back in. Find the right driver here. Plug everything back in. Sorry if I'm not getting this in the camera view. off just a little bit. There we go. I think that's in there now. And then the back should go back on. And moment of truth, if the battery has any charge on it. some extra guitar picks out of it too. All right, it's at 37%, so I'll have to give it on charge. But it seems to be working okay. 
other than it's not connected to anything, so it doesn't know the time or the date. Well, hmm. I don't know. Anyhow, maybe that'll be helpful for somebody. I don't know. Maybe it won't, but I figure I'll go ahead and post this anyway. So that's it. Um, so if you found this useful, go ahead and click that like button. If not, you know, you just dislike or ignore it, whatever. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.